The beer bottle engine. This is a gamma type Stirling engine designed to run on a wood stove, constructed from readily available components. First, you need to empty a beer bottle, however you would like, and cut the top and bottom off. I used an emery disc in my drill press. It took a bit and three broken bottles, but it gave pretty good results. I created my plans around the resulting displacer chamber size and an old computer heat sink for the top. The bottom was cut from a piece of scrap aluminum. Unfortunately, it turned out to be slightly warped, so I ended up having to make a gasket for it. The fan blade was made from the body of a coffee can by first pounding it flat, then cutting it out with the scissors. Blades were shaped by bending them over a dowel. I took a simple approach to the displacer and made it out of yellow paper and white glue. Believe it or not, paper holds up really good. Keeping in mind the temperature inside the displacer chamber should never be anywhere near the surface temperature the fan sits on. Unfortunately, the aluminum tape I put on the top and bottom to reflect the radiated heat away doesn't seem quite as resilient, but is staying in place for now. The rod is a small gauge music wire available at most hobby stores. The piston and piston chamber are made from nesting brass tubes also available at most hobby stores. I attached the displacer cylinder to the top with some high temp RTV silicone you can get at any auto store. It is good up to about 700 degrees Fahrenheit. This was used on the bottom as well, but I used wax paper between it when drying so it wouldn't stick together, making it much easier to service later. The flywheel and crankshaft parts were cut from the bottom case of some electric junk. As long as it is softer metal than your blade, it will be fairly easy to cut. Also try to pick something easy to solder. This is the assembled crankshaft. Admittedly I am not the best at soldering and the metal ended up being a little difficult to solder as well. The rod used is an eighth inch music wire. Music wire is harder than almost any blade and needs to be cut with an emery disc. Although a bit hard to work with, it was a perfect fit for the bearings I had. This was the first run of the engine. Although it works, it would seem the tube I used for the displacer shaft was slightly bent, causing a great deal of friction and noise. Also, the connecting rod for the piston isn't a good fit and making noise as well. After replacing the tube for the displacer and remaking the piston connecting rod, it now runs quiet and smooth. Starting temp is around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. 